Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Dono. Welcome to week two of nine. Last week, I read Mindset, the new psychology of success. Here's what I have for you. There are two types of mindset, ladies and gentlemen, fixed and growth. How do you know which one you have? Well, fixed mindset says, I was born this way. This is the talent that I have. These are the skills that I have. And that either makes me superior to people or inferior to people. The growth mindset says, I was born with a certain set of skills and I was born with a certain set of talents. But throughout my life, I can learn, I can grow and I can develop. So that means that I can improve throughout the rest of my life. Now, here are some things that you can pay attention to so that you can determine if you are in a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Because the author of the book said, at any given time, we can have one or the other. We do lean and we have a tendency to be one more than the other, but there are times when we flip-flop. So if you want to know if you're in a fixed mindset, you will be judging people. You will be mean to people. You will make excuses if you fail. And you will always try to put people down if they're doing something better than you. And even if you're doing something better than people, you'll put them down because they're not doing it as good as you. With a growth mindset, you're focused on learning and developing. So you're going to ask people questions. You're going to ask for feedback. You're going to be improving and growing. It's you versus you. You're going to look at yourself in the previous year. You're going to set goals. You're going to accomplish those goals. And you're also going to help people out. So if you have a particular skill set or talent and you want someone else to have it, you're going to tell them how you did it so that they can improve too. The good news is that when you have a fixed mindset, you actually can change it. I know most fixed mindset people don't believe that they can, but they actually can. So how do you do it? Well, some of the things that the author suggested in the book is that number one, you have to give your fixed mindset a name because you don't want to behave like that person, but you also want to acknowledge when it's happening. So last week's new beginning for me was all about naming and claiming whenever I had a fixed mindset. Because at first I thought, I don't have a, mix, a fixed mindset, but actually I do. And every time a fixed mindset showed up, I identified where it came from, why did I feel that way, and what was I going to do to change it? Because for the most part, I have a growth mindset and I always want to be improving. It was awesome because what it allowed me to do was go back in time and say, wow, I thought this occurred when I was eight, when I was nine, when I was 10. Oh, I got this from when I was in the military. Or I got this from when, my when I had a job in corporate America. This came from me being married. This came from me living in the hood. And it gave me the opportunity to let all of those fixed mindsets go so that I could actually heal if it was traumatic and grow. Or if I was being judgmental, my daughter, she chimed in a lot to say, hey, is that a fixed mindset? Are you sure that's a fixed mindset? Because I didn't even realize the judgment that was taking place. And now that I do, and I've named my my fixed mindset person, I don't want to tell you the name, case is your name, I don't want you to feel bad, but I named my fixed mindset and it has been extremely awesome for me to be able to do it. So that was my new beginning last week. Now, do I recommend the book? Absolutely. I'm saying get a copy. The best part of the book is when you get to the end, there's a graphic and it allows you, you can take a picture of it with your phone so that you can refer to it often. And throughout your day, you can say, is this a fixed mindset or is this a growth mindset? And if you're in that fixed mindset, then you have the ability to change it. And then for people that are around you, if they don't want to change their fixed mindset, then you can say, you know what? You have a fixed mindset. You don't want to change. I have a growth mindset. So, so long, sucker. See you later. Bye-bye. But I can't stick around for this. This week's book, What Money Can't Buy. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But before I get out of here, just remember the power of nine. New beginnings expand your mind. Adios.